So, coach, about next day, next day, what can you tell about? Also, Bummer team is a team which is playing pretty much on the same uh, way and on the same level, not just in this season. You know. They were like on the verge of, on the edge of qualifying last year in the top 16. They make some big wins in their gym, you know, this season and this game on the road against Onikaha is, I can say, giving the mark of them becoming a really competitive team wherever they are playing. It's a tough team and a strong team, which has their goals on the other side. We have our goals. About their game, it's a kind of certain things are pretty much specific with the shoe put and a, this Takir as a 3-4 combo players, you know, and also Slaughter as a combo 4-5 players. They have a 4 play plus 1, but generally 4 players in rotation on outside players, and they are keeping with the crowd on their back, really, really controlled, high tempo game on their court. In order to be in the game, in order to function in this game, we need to have a calm head, calm head which is going to work all the time, not just step back, and we will try to play on the way that we have to play on the way that we are supposed to ask, to be asked for every possession, for every second on the court, to be asked about the ball, which way we want to go. Expect one tough, hard game where we are supposed to break the thing which is going like inside of us for a season, for this season, you know. And I think that for us it's a great chance, you know, to step up and I can say simply leave behind us all the problems which were following us until now. We are, preparing, we are preparing okay. We have all players uh, working. Nobody went out of the system, so I think that we're going to be totally ready, like tactically and physically. And I hope mentally, you know, the way that we're supposed to give the answers on this game. How do you think that you managed to solve the problems uh, that were shown last week? Which problems? Like this lost? By the winning the game. If the problem is lost, then the, the, the solving of problem is winning the game. You know? so. And coach, this match will be do or die match. So it is also do or die match, psychology. not just for us. You know? It's also for them. You know? They are having like a match ball on their home court. They have a kind of advantage, but also a kind of pressure in front of their court. I think that, that both teams are capable of running, and playing those games. You know? If you want to be top 16 team, you know, then you must play such a game. Both teams had the chances before. Some are used, some are not. But generally, I think that we're supposed to see how much we we have to to to, to put. All, we have enough experienced players in the, inside of our team, and we have to uh, their experience and uh, problems which we forced, which we had this season, are something which is supposed to be joined on, on a positive way. We have players who played such a games in, in their careers, so it's nothing new. Generally, we must be totally clean in our head what is the way to success. And the way to success in such a game is a team effort. Team effort, you know, which is supposed to be run for the 40 minutes, as I told you, as much as we can, as long as we can, to be asked for every possession on a, every part of the court. Uh, you have Dejran Collins uh, added to the team. Uh, will he be able to help the team in Bamberg? He's practicing with us after the period that he was out of the team, you know, he gets some minutes which were like uh, pretty much involved minutes in the inside of the team you know we didn't change nothing specifically tactically or things that he's just informed about those things we're gonna see he's working normally and he's gonna travel with us down there we're gonna see how the thing is going his experience is something what can help us you know, but also we must be aware that priorities and the first priority is the team effort Coach, after last loss, uh, some players told that the biggest problem is their selfishness. Is it something that is possible to fix? Well, we spoke a lot, you know, even I said on a press conference, if you were out of the game, that we have like too many egos inside of us, you know, like all of us. And, you know, like, uh, these things, you know, like, are something, you know, which are production of many things behind, which I will not analyze, it's not the moment. You know, I'm aware and I, when I work something, I want to believe it. I really believe that this thing can be solved. You know, unfortunately, you know, like the time is going, the games are going one after another. We didn't have a peace whole November. We were like traveling, we spent so much time on traveling. 
but it's definitely inside of each one of us, each one of the players, you know. And it's up to them, you know, to understand. They are understanding, you know, but it's a moment when the stress and some things on the court are coming that they have to react that way. Not just by the words, but the, by the done deal, by the things done. I think that, that the problem is going to be solved, for sure going to be solved. Hopefully, you know, some things, you know, supposed to be done Thursday in order to make easier way later. Thank you.